What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone had a stellar weekend. Today, I want to talk about EDC pouches. This is my ouch pouch. This is the pouch that I carry around in my EDC bag uh, for when my kids hurt themselves. My kids hurt themselves a lot. I have a toddler that uh, does not believe gravity exists, so she loves to jump off everything. And that's just my little girl. My little boy is only eight months old and he's showing even more prowess to uh, physical self-harm. So yeah, I'm going to be using this kit even more uh, in the future from what I can tell. So I just wanted to kind of cover what I carry as a father of two. Um, I do work, uh, I'm a CAD designer, but I do work out in the field quite a bit. So I'm going out to job sites and whatnot. Um, so I use this stuff when I'm out there as well. Uh, I do a lot of my own, you know, the yard work and, and home maintenance, things like that. Um, constantly needing the tools that I talked about in the last video. I equally am constantly needing little bandages. I am not the most graceful thing, so I hurt myself quite a bit. So let's just get into it. So this is my ouch pouch. Um, the, the bag itself, the little bag, is uh, made by a company called First Tactical. Uh, I, I bought a, a hunting bag from them a number of years ago and these pouches were on sale so I bought one of the pouches and I had it on the waist belt part of my uh, my hunting bag um, which I was keeping magazines in but then I got a chest pack to do that so I didn't really need this for that um, so I repurposed it f as this little uh, little pouch that um, just houses you know bandages and things these are these are no, this is not by any means like a full-on, like I can save somebody's life kit. That's my IFAT kit that I keep in my in my uh, Overland vehicle in case of something like that. And that kit never gets pulled out. You never want to have your IFAT kit and your ouch pouch kit to be the same kit. You always want to have them be different. Anyways, that's another story. So this is you know something that I just carry around every day. Uh, I have had to use it quite a bit, but not recently. And it's starting to get a little fat because I'm always adding little things in here. So while we're going through and looking at it, I'll explain what I use, what I don't use, what I'm probably going to get rid of or swap out, things like that. Let me pull up a chair. This might be a few minutes. So, all right, let's just get started. <clears throat> so it's just a pack. I got this uh, ouch pouch, I think from Etsy a while back. I thought it was kind of funny because I, I call this thing an ouch pouch all the time. And I saw the patch one day. So it's just got a little zipper on top. It's got this little uh, hook on the thing. So you can hook it around places, which is actually pretty nice. Um, when, I, when I go to like a public bathroom and I need to like, you know, fix my daughter's scraped knee or something and, and you know, we need to wash it off, we can go to a public bathroom. And I've got little hooks on my EDC bag, so I can just kind of hang this up and then, you know, access it. Anyways, uh, it's got little molly straps on the back, which I actually like because they, they're really easy to use. Um, I'm not a big fan of the uh, hard plastic molly uh, straps, if you know what I'm talking about. The hard plastic ones that always wear out uh, after a couple years. So yeah, um, and then I just, you know, have this was my old patch that I had on. I just left it on there. So inside, what do I got? Well, I've got a hank because I feel like you always need a hank. I'm constantly swapping these out. I just got this one. Um, I haven't got to see the new Super Mario movie, but I want to. Uh, I am a big fan of gaming, so... Uh, yeah, anyways, I uh, got this from Lone Star Hanks, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's microfiber on one side, really soft, like you could clean like glasses with it. And then it's like a, a more rougher material on this side, like a, just a full-on cotton, basically. So uh, yeah, it, it, these are these are nice. I had somebody ask me the other day, like, yeah, uh, the, the EDC Hanks are cool, but what do you use them for? And, you know, when I first saw these things, I kind of thought that too, but I was raised by grandparents and my grandfather always had a handkerchief in his pocket now his he always blew his nose on so it was kind of gross you know and he'd blow his nose on and then two hours later he's like cleaning something off my face and it's like come on man I, I remember you blowing your nose with that but anyways I do not do that um, but my kids I don't blow my nose on it but my kids do get messy faces and stuff and I use these I just use these as a rag it's just a rag to carry around that you can clean stuff with I clean my knives with it you know if, if I get uh, silverware at a restaurant it has got spots on it, I can wipe it off real quick instead of making a big stink or whatever. It, it's just easy. It's just an easy thing to have and use. And use. Carry it around. Moving on. Uh, this is just kind of a thing I threw in here the other day. It's just a pair of tweezers. I needed a little pair of tweezers and I had this little tweezers from an old uh, 
first aid kit that I was cleaning out because all the stuff in it was kind of expired, you know, so I gave, got rid of it, I guess. <clears throat> headlamp, you always need a, a headlamp. Um, when I'm doing stuff, I always need a headlamp. I, uh, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've had to put on bandages in the middle of the night because my daughter was walking back through the campsite or something or she's walking around outside the tent and she, you know, tripped over a rock or a, 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 you know, something and, and scraped her knee. And holding a flashlight while trying to put a Band-Aid on can be kind of hard, so I just got a headlamp for it. This is the Phoenix uh, HM50R. These Phoenix lights are good. I use this also for hunting and stuff. I don't use it, you know, solely for this, but I've, I had it in here because that's the last place I used it. But you can take it out of its little head thing, and then it's just this little flashlight, and it's got three different settings. And so it, it's got the memory setting, so it knows what the last light you put it on was. Um, it it's a rechargeable battery. It's got a little USB, micro USB on the side. Uh, it's a couple years old, but it works great. I love it. And then it's got this little thing. Phoenix flashlights are pretty good. I think they're made in Japan. It's a good headlamp. <clears throat> uh, this is just old pill, like pills that I just keep reusing this little bag because I don't have a Velcro bag. I guess I can just tear that off. Uh, these are just the yeah, medications. So it's like, you know, diphenhydramin ibuprofen, sting, uh, insect bite relief, little things like that just in case. I just keep throwing it in this little bag. I keep refilling this bag with these things. <clears throat> it, It's just, you know, your medications you might need, your Benadryls and your aspirins and little things like that. And then it's got a couple of, um, the insect bites are really good. Mosquitoes love us. Uh, this is just another little excess bag that's got like a sticker, some antiseptic wipes, and just some rubber gloves. I might get rid of this. I might just keep the rubber gloves. I really don't need the antiseptic wipes or the big bag or the biohazard sticker. It was just, it just came with it. I didn't put it in there. Uh, this is just sunscreen uh, for kids. Well, it's SPF 30. I've been told that anything higher than SPF 50 is a lie, and SPF 30 is, is good enough. Um, so, I mean, that's SPF 50, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's sunscreen, I put it in a baggie, whoops, <laughs> in case it leaks. And then tissues, always need some tissues. Um, I've got like a pack of like 10 of these little, little tissue bags that you can use. These things work great. Oh, you know what, I'm gonna move my mic just a little bit. Hopefully you could hear me and all that, I'm not sure. Um, and then I got some like, I think these are sutures just, you know, in case you need to, you know, clamp something down and keep it clamped. Some people call them roach clips or something, but it's been a long time since I partook. All right. Liquid bandage. Uh, this stuff is awesome. I've only just used it a couple of times for the first time. And, uh, once was on me and once was on the little kid and the little kid, did way better at it than I did. I've really felt it when I first put it on there because it's got an analgesic in it, but the first thing you feel is the alcohol. So before it numbs, anything gets numbed or anything, it uh, you feel that burn. But my daughter's tough. She was she loved it. And she thought it was cool that she didn't have to wear a Band-Aid. So liquid bandage works really well, and we can wash our hands with it, and it doesn't wash off. Uh, this is just another little Ziploc baggie of different band-aids, different sizes of bandages. This thing gets filled, refilled constantly, but it looks like I'm probably going to need to get some more smaller band-aids because these bigger band-aids are older, um, but the smaller band-aids are brand new. Um, the next thing, you gotta have your antibiotic creams. Don't want anybody getting any infections. Staph is not fun. Got uh, Dramamine, the wife gets... Uh, motion sickness and then of course you, know, you need your Tylenol and then alcohol prep pads and then there's some um, hydrocortisone cream and then there's some also smaller antibiotic ointments in here as well but alcohol prep pads are good Let's see down here in the bottom of the bag this is just an extra little sealable pill case with medic medications that I keep in it I have an AM PM and so the way I separate it is I put the PMs in a smaller bag <clears throat> Excuse me. This thing works pretty good. I don't. I haven't had to pull it out in a while though. I haven't ran low on my medications, fortunately. Back scratcher. Never know when you're gonna need a little mini back scratcher. I thought this thing was kind of funny, but it actually works really well. So yeah, it's a good thing. And then that is it. So as you can see, like all this fit in this little pouch. And I gotta be honest, I will probably. Oh, there is one more thing. Ha. <laughs> 
I thought this was kind of neat. You never know when you'll need a compass to know which direction to go. So who knows? You, you, you know, compasses are good to have. Let's see. Now let's feel in here. That's it. Okay, so in the bag you can see there's like this little pocket right here, which is nice. You can, um, this is where I keep like the uh, antiseptics and the antibiotic creams and stuff. All those little tubes. I put them up here. And that's it. That's my ouch pouch. All this stuff has been stuff that has come in handy, um, except for a couple of things I just put in there. Uh, the, the tweezers I haven't used yet. Um, let's see. And that is it so far. Well, of course, the compass. I don't, I don't know when you'd use a compass, but I've generally known which direction I'm going. Um, but other than those two items, everything in here has been used and... I haven't found a need for anything else. Um, if I was to take anything out, it'd probably be the little sutures here. Uh, I've only used them a couple of times, and it's been to like you know hold pieces of cotton or a rag or something you know on a on a scrape or a cut while I'm doing something else. It just kind of keeps my hands away from it. Um, but other than that, it's not too necessary. So that's it. That's my ouch pouch. What do you guys carry? What am I missing? There's got to be somebody out there that's like, hey, you need A, B, and C, and completely blow my mind with their knowledge. So, yes, please, let me know. I'm starting to feel a little better, so hopefully my video quality will improve as my health does, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a good day.